Consider outer space. You know, from the time of the first NASA mission, it became evident that being in space has a profound effect on the human psyche. You know, during the first Gemini mission, some thought was actually given to the notion of sending up a man and a woman together. Really? Mm -hmm. Cosmic Adam and Eve, if you will, bound together in a highly sophisticated nerve center at the head of the largest, most powerful rocket yet known. Its giant thrusters blasting into the dark void as they hurtled towards their final destination, the gushing wellspring of life itself. How would you like to have a sexual encounter so intense it could conceivably change your political views? Would you like to dance? Yes, please. I'll take that as a no. Consider outer space. What? Private Gibson! Incoming! <laughs> hey, what is this lonely man sitting on a hill, huh? It's over, Lance. It's gone. I've lost it. High school. I started off so hot. Sophomore year, two times. Junior year was excellent, four times. And not all with the same girl. Senior year looked like the best. The first day of class is enough. What do you mean, nothing your senior year? What about that time with Barbara DeVilbus in the high jump pit, huh? That was you. Oh, yeah. I just can't motivate myself the way I used to. Maybe I'm past my prime. It's not you. It's these high school girls here. They're, they're simple. They're never going to stimulate a complex guy like you. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. Anyways, after tonight, you'll never have to deal with these simple high school girls again. But won't these same girls be in college? Yeah, but it'll be different. Why? 
Because they'll be college girls. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Lance. It's your own fault, you know. You could be coming out to California with me. Hey, all right. Get a totally bitchin' education out there, dude. <laughs> huh. California. You could be coming to New England with me, you know. Oh, what, are you crazy? The Ivy League stinks, man. All they got there are those ugly intellectual girls with Band-Aids on their knees from playing the cello. No, thank you. <laughs> really gonna miss you, Lance. Oh, we're college men now. Yeah. Dear Lance, the campus here is beautiful. I've never seen so much corduroy in one place. Classes are classes. One of them even looks like it might be interesting. You never know. You're wrong about the women here. I haven't seen one Band-Aid. In fact, there's plenty of action. My roommate and I have an understanding. Hope things are going as good for you, your pal, Gib. P.S. All of the above is bullshit. I'm floundering in a sea of confusion and total despair. But knock on wood, I still have my health. This week's assignment is to rewrite last week's assignment. Oh. Remember, as the dog returns to his own vomit, so does the fool to his folly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but there was this big problem, and I'm late because of it. Um, Catherine, I mean, I told you that you should develop your own style. You know, I didn't mean that you should dot the eyes with little flowers. And this lavender ink, would you, um, would you lose that? It strains the eye, you know? You sure take a lot of notes. Um, Ms. Duran? Ah, oh, this is very, very interesting. Uh, ordinarily, the conclusion comes in the end of the paper, but, yeah, I like that. Thank yeah, you. Go on, huh? Um, Gibson. Mr. Gibson. Yes, what? Well, I know what an important part voyeurism plays in your daily life, but um, do you mind if I take up a moment of your time? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. See, I want to tell you that I, um, I really enjoyed your paper. You did? Yeah. I don't remember the last time that I have seen this much detail expressed on how to eat pizza without burning the roof of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, whatever whimsical qualities that your paper evokes are obscured in a morass of marginal grammar, creative spelling, and, uh, as I believe, sausage stain. Pepperoni. Clean it up, Gibson. Miss Bradbury. Now, you, on the other hand, you express your ideas very clearly. Thank you. Except that your paper is, well, it's dry. There's not enough of, of you coming through. Loosen up, Alice. Have some fun. <laughs> yes, sleep when you feel like it, not when you think you should. Eat food that is bad for you, at least once in a while. <laughs> no. um, have conversations with people whose clothes are not color-coordinated. <laughs> Make love in a hammock. <laughs> yeah. Life is the ultimate experience. Now, you have to experience it in order to write about it. Yes, Alison. What did you say after hammock? <laughs> I want you. I ain't now. You're dead, man. You're dead meat. Gonna be here some footsteps. Six! Hey! One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Uh, Gibson, all pro safety out of Grambling makes another sparkling defensive gem. Uh, uh. I thought Grambling was all black. So what? Hey, what are you doing tonight? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. Staying in and rewriting my English paper. I have a social life, you know. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You gotta go to a mixer. Stay in the corner for three hours and not ask anyone to dance. No, it's the girls at this school. All they want to do is stay indoors, smoke cigarettes, and relate. I don't like them. Why do you have to like them? You're dead meat. What does Tal mean I have to live life? 
In high school, I was a delegate to the mock UN in New York City. Twice. When I was nine, I broke my brother's nose boxing. On a tour of Graceland, I passed out in Elvis's bedroom. I think I've done my share of living. Haven't I? What do you think of that guy, Gib? I don't. I think he's got a cute ass. Him? Yeah. Oh! oh! Gets him with the interception! And he's got some running room! He's to the 30, to the 40, and run out of bounds in midfield by Jimbo Markovici. That's Gibson's ninth interception of this very young season. He's having an outstanding year. Life's the ultimate experience. Forget it, Gibson. I hear she likes the intellectual type. So I'm intellectual and stuff. You're flanking English. That's your mother tongue and stuff. And the only way she'll go out with you is out of pity. Mastin, you're a genius. Stop and go on one. Kim, Kim, Kim. Break! Both y'all dead. Ready down, set, hut one, hut two, hut three. Oh. What's not? One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Yeah, yeah! Nice go! Steve. Go! Nice Steve. Nice go, 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 go! Nice Steve. Go, go, go! Nice. Go. Hey, hey, Gibson. hey, where are you Gibson, going? Gibson, come on! Hey! Come Gibson. on! Gibson. The ball! I'm, I'm flunking English. I was wondering if maybe you could help me out. Nice swimsuit. I flunk English. I'm out of here. Kiss college goodbye. I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably go home. Gee, Dad will be pissed off. Mom will be heartbroken. And if I, if I play my cards right, I get maybe a six months grace period, and then I got to get a job, and you know what that means. That's right. They start me off with a drive-up window, and I gradually work my way up from shakes to burgers. And then one day, my lucky break comes. The french fry guy dies, and they offer me the job. But the day I'm supposed to start, some men come by in a black Lincoln Continental and tell me I can make a quick 300 just for driving a van back from Mexico. When I get out of jail, I'm 36 years old, living in a flop house. No job, no home, no upward mobility, very few teeth. And then one day they find me, face down, talking to the gutter, clutching a bottle of paint thinner. And why? Because you wouldn't help me in English. No, you were too busy to help me. Too busy to help a drowning man. <laughs> Okay, I'll help you. You will? When? Um. How about tonight? Let's see, Friday. 5.30 dinner, 6 o'clock calculus. 7 o'clock news, 7.30 shower, 7.45 phone call, 8 o'clock? Eight o'clock, I don't know. That's when I rearrange my sock drawer. Do you want me to help you or not? Yes, I do. I was just getting there. Eight o'clock. OK. Eight o'clock. See you then. Uh, where? McKinsey Hall. Great. freshman at a small northeastern college. I never thought those letters were true until a few days ago I had an experience that changed my mind. I just had to share it with you. I had pretty much resigned myself to another night of reading your magazine when there was a knock on my dorm room door. 
And when I opened the door, I could hardly believe my eyes. There were two of the foxiest twins I'd ever seen, with long brunette hair, legs that wouldn't quit, and firm tits. Whew. How's that sound? Change tits to uh, generous scoops of mouth-watering flesh and uh, have them defy gravity. What do you think? Is this sure good? Yeah, fine. Now, you think they'll know that scoops of flesh means tits? I don't know. It doesn't sound specific enough. Where else are you going to find scoops of flesh? How's this for an opening line? Did you know that Nietzsche died of syphilis? How do you spell zucchini? Z-U-C-H-I-N-I. -I. No, Nietzsche's too obscure. Uh, how about, did you know that Shakespeare died of syphilis? No, she probably knows it isn't true. I don't know what to say. It's not what you say that counts, but how you say it. Use sincerity. It's the best technique. What? Come here. Come here. Come on. You know, I've never met anyone like you before. Usually when I meet someone new, I feel awkward and shy. But with you, it's different. I can talk to you. You know what I'm thinking without my having to explain it to you in fancy terms? We speak each other's unspoken language fluently. I love you. Oh, Jimbo. That is the most enormous pile of horseshit I've ever heard in my life. Get out of here, you piece of slime. No chick would ever buy it. Oh, yeah? Well, that's where you're wrong. It's how I got Lucy. Jimbo, it's horseshit. Yeah, effective horseshit. Get a life. In your heart, there's my favorite place for me. So far behind, I haven't even picked out a theme for my English lit term paper. Of course, I'm still coming out there for Christmas. You think I'm gonna leave you alone with all those UCLA girls? I just can't afford to fly. My parents will only pay if I go to see them. No, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll figure something out. They have this Baltimore where they list rides. Yeah, I really want to see you. Yes, I will send you the article on civil liability, I promise. Oh, Jason, do you ever eat food that you think is bad for you? I didn't think so. No, it's not important. Well, you tell me first. I love you, too. Who's that, your lawyer? Someday. Ready? Yeah. When I recollect my most truly excellent experience, recurrent images buzz through my brain. It's the big bubbles of crust that expand right up through the sauce glistening pools of oil, as still and inviting as a mountain lake. <clears throat> the ropey knots of cheese that gather to a chewy perfection in the center as the slices are pulled apart. It's good, huh? This is all wrong. There's no punctuation. It's all one sentence. So? It's a mess. And you neglected to mention the most important thing. What? I talk about the cheese to sauce ratio right there. You didn't state your topic, that this is going to be a paper on pizza. But that is completely inferred. Implied. Whatever. Look, what do you say? We throw this off and go exploring. Nothing ever gets done on a Friday night. Come on. Where are you going? It's too stuffy in here. Let's go get some air. You can't go. 
go in there. Yes, I can. This is America. You can go anywhere. Here. See that? That's Ursa Major, the big bear. Look, we're going to get into a lot of trouble. And that's Ursa Minor, the little bear. And up to the north there, that's Cassiopeia. That's Cassiopeia? She was the mother of Andromeda, right? Who? Cassiopeia. Really? I just know the names. Andromeda's there, too, next to Cassiopeia. Andromeda. She was a princess who was chained to a rock. She's supposed to be sacrificed to a sea serpent. Did you get her? No. Perseus rescued her at the last minute. Perseus, good man. He's up there too, next to Andromeda. You know a lot about astronomy. Yeah. When I was six, I wanted to be an astronaut. You know, all the tang you can drink. <laughs> I'll never believe what I wanted to be when I was six. A classics professor. Oh. I wanted to be a princess. You know, Allison, I never met anyone like you before. Usually when I meet someone new, I feel awkward and shy. But with you, it's different. I feel I can talk to you. You know what I'm thinking without me having to explain it to you in fancy terms. We speak each other's unspoken language. What? Fluently. Allison, I love you. Did it hurt you? No. Ah! Allison, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You had this whole thing planned. Excellent. Why? Don't you have an 8 o'clock? What time is it? 9 to 8. Ah, shit! Shit, shit, shit. Uh, rude, insensitive, selfish, uh... Asshole. Exactly. But that wasn't me. I don't know why I said those things. I'm really not like that. Allison, please. I'm really sorry. Can you forgive me? Come on, we're gonna be late for class. He was a man, that's all. A man like any other man. A man like no other man. <laughs> well, it's very interesting, Moshe. Thanks. You have a, you have a feel for ambiguity. <laughs> um, anyone else want to volunteer? Hmm? Gibson? Me? Yeah, give me your faith. Here you go. Hmm. No pepperoni today, huh? It's clean. I am a freshman at a small northeastern college. I never thought these letters were real until a few days ago when I had an experience that changed my mind. I just had to share it with you. Miss Top, I don't think that... Take it easy, not... Gibson. Just take... you don't... I am six foot two with dark hair, athletic build from football, and I'm considered good looking by my friends. <laughs> I'm not boastful, but I must explain for the sake of clarity that I am relatively well equipped with 10 inches of solid man meat. <laughs> Still, it has been a dry season as far as girls were concerned. <laughs> It's 
for you, Gib. Long distance. Thanks. I'm coming. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you getting any? I'm talking to you cordless. What are you doing for Christmas break, huh? Well, I do. You're coming to California, IA. What don't you know? My roommate's got a convertible. We cruise to Palm Springs. I got exams after Christmas lights. Gib, we are talking so cal here. It's 80 degrees outside. My roommate's got this beach house in Malibu. Uh, I can't afford the flight, Lance. Uh, listen, Gib, Gib, can you hear that? Hear that? Those are waves, Gib. They're calling out to you. They're beckoning. Gib, Gib, come to California. It's too sunny out there, Lance. There's a certain someone here I want you to meet. Forget it, Lance. She's a very, very special person. I can't deal with striking out on both coasts. Oh, you're not going to strike out. She was just released from parochial school. She's in her experimental phase. Will you forget it, Lance? She loves sex. What does she look like? Oh, uh, you remember that last snapshot I sent you? The blonde in the string bikini? Get it. I can't right now. There's... Hey, that's an order, Private Gibson. Excuse me. Oh. 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 Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Good. Now look at it. Fixate on it. Are you fixating on it? I'm fixating. Are you sitting down? Yes. She's a sure thing, Gib. A sure thing. <laughs> No, I don't need to explain the deep significance of those words. I told her all about you, and she's dying to meet you. But you gotta drag your ass out here by the 22nd, because she's leaving the next day for a semester at sea. So, think you can make it? Are you Gib? Yeah. Hi, welcome aboard. I'm Marianne Webster. And I'm Gary Cooper. But not the Gary Cooper that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hop in. <laughs> Allison, this is Gib. And Gib, this is Allison. You know I should have taken the bus. What? And wind up sitting next to some sleaze bag? Some sleaze bag you don't know? Oh, you two know each other. We're old friends. We're not old friends. We're acquaintances. Very distant acquaintances. Kids, come on, let's make this a fun trip, okay? You guys know any show tunes? That's a great idea. When the moon is in the seventh house. And Jupiter aligns with Mars. Well, then peace will guide the planets. And love Up will steer the skies. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Come on, everybody. Eat an apple every day. Get to bed by three. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. All right, do the oohs. Be careful crossing streets. Ooh. Don't eat meats. Ooh. Cut out sweets. Ooh, ooh. You'll get a pain and ruin your tum tum. Stay away from bootleg I never met anyone like you before. Usually, when I meet someone new, I feel awkward and shy. But with you, it's different. I feel I can talk to you. You know what I'm thinking without me having to explain it to you in fancy terms? We speak each other's unspoken language fluently. Kib, I... before you go any further, let's be honest. You want it. I want it. You know I want it. You don't have to bullshit me to get it. And even if you do bullshit me, you still get it. Wear your flannel underwear when you climb a tree. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Honey, what's the matter? You're not singing. I'm not going to sing if they're not going to join in. Well, come on, no, honey. No, honey. They're ruining it for everyone.
think you're doing? I'm going to bed. Not with me or not? I'm not going to bed with you. I'm going to bed in a bed that you happen to be in also. I don't try anything, I swear. Trust me. You are sleeping on the floor tonight. I worked out a schedule. It's not my schedule. It's both of our... Never shut up. What does she see in him? It's a twisted relationship. You want to sleep in the bed? Yes, I do. Fine. I'll sleep on the floor. You don't have to sleep on the floor. Do you intend to sleep in the bed? Yes, I do. Then I intend to sleep on the floor. Ow! Ow! Good night. Well... Oh. Great breakfast. Protein, go for it. <coughs> Cheese balls, anyone? Jerry? They're good. Cheese balls? No, thank you. I think that's hysterical. I think it's a scream. An absolute laugh riot. Ha ha! What the hell's the matter with it? It's stupid. It's stupid. Everything's stupid with you. All right, it is stupid. What the hell's wrong with being stupid once in a while? Does everything you do always have to be sensible? Gary, they're at it again. Have you ever thrown, have you ever thrown water balloons off the roof? When you were a little kid, didn't you ever sprinkle ivory flakes on the living room floor because you wanted to make it snow in July? Did you ever get really shit-faced and maybe make a complete fool out of your stuff and still have an excellent time? Gary, do something. Don't you know how great it makes you feel when you do something totally spontaneous, totally off the wall? Spontaneity has its time and its place. Allison, you know what you are. You're repressed. I'm not repressed. Yes, you are. Gary, I can be as spontaneous as anyone. Prove it. Want me to do? I don't have to prove anything to you. You can't, because you're repressed. You don't have to be stupid to be spontaneous. Repressed. You, know. you think that's spontaneous taking your butt out of a car repressed. window? Repressed. Face it, Allison. You're repressed. You want spontaneity? Repressed. I'll give you spontaneity. Repressed. I'll give you watch this. Gary, 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 Gary. Oh, hey, you guys. Oh my what God. Can you say? Oh, Whoa. Whoa. All right. All right. You guys, come to mom. Mom's gonna be so proud. I'm getting a hive. Indecent exposure. Driving so as to endanger. Driving with the load not properly tied down. Yeah. Thank you, officer. I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, you can't do this. Lock you can't the leave doors. us here, Lock Gary. The doors. You can't. Uh, Gary, Lock please. The doors. Gary, I'm sleeping. Lock the doors. Ah! I'll do anything, Gary. I'll do anything. I'll send show to him, Gary. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feelings. Feelings of love.
Coming back. Just a little mad. There's a town up ahead. I saw a sign we can hitch. Where are you going? Allison, where are you going? Allison? We're in the middle of nowhere. It's cold. There's no cars. You stay and hitch. You're going to walk? It's almost 20 miles. And don't follow me. Ride poor crimes, anyone? This doesn't change anything, okay? Suit yourself. You know, junk food really doesn't deserve the bad rap it gets. Take these fried pork rinds. This particular brand has 1% of the RDA, that's recommended daily allowance, of riboflavin. Have you ever noticed that there's three kinds of junk food? There's your starchy, fried, greasy type. Listen, I appreciate the food, but right now I'm not in the mood to listen to any more of your scientific observations. Hey, you didn't have to come over here and sit down. You're right. I didn't. Want a ride? I wouldn't take that ride if I were you. Where are you going? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, long way for a little girl like you to be going. <laughs> oh, this thing's like an old woman. Sometimes you gotta kick her to get her in gear. I got up at six this morning. And I've been driving ever since. You're the first person I've talked to all day. Wish I could say that. I mean, I hope he gets a ride and everything, but some people, they just don't know when to put a lid on it. It's a day like this, you get to thinking you're the only person on Earth. It gets lonely on the road with you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can't wait to get to California to see my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I got my CV, but uh, that's not real talk. It's not with a real person. It's just a voice. Let's see if I can you get You never get to know what they look like or who they are. By Thursday night or Friday morning. You look nice. Why are we stopping here? What are we doing? It gets lonely on the road. So, well, don't touch me, don't! Don't be scared. Don't. 
Don't what are you doing? Let go! I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. No! 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 You need to watch us having a little squabble, okay? Oh, it's not easy getting rides, you know what I mean? I mean, most people are afraid to pick up hitchhikers. I mean, you never know who you might pick up. I mean, I, I could be some crazy slime ball. I mean, a real deranged, violent psycho, you know what I mean? I mean, a guy who would rip your heart out and eat it just for pleasure! I'm talking about a total maniac! Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Bill! Why aren't we moving? Don't you want to give me a ride? I'm only going about another mile. Then what the hell did you pick me up for? You think I got nothing better to do in my life than to sit here and to pass the time with you? Shit brain! I don't think I want this ride after all. I think I'll take your wife, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, shit. The luggage! I told you shouldn't have taken that ride. Yeah. That's because you know everything, right? That's right. Then you should also know that you make it virtually impossible for anyone to be grateful for anything nice you might have done. Allison. I'm sorry, you okay? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Why'd you get on the back of that truck? Cause I'm the kind of guy that likes to live on the edge. I just want to get on that bus and tilt the seat back and fall asleep and wake up in California. <laughs> Check out those guys. Wonder what they majored in. Where to? Los Angeles. That'll be 89.50. Bus number 33 now boarding right outside. Thank you. Where to? <clears throat> Nowhere. Just browsing. Tell me, those guys over there, did they sleep here all night? Come on, I want to get a good seat. Where to? Where's your ticket? I've been thinking it over. I'm going to hitch. I mean, the way I'm looking at it, you know, I'm not getting any younger. This could be my last chance to see the real America. I mean, really relate to the people. Loan me a dollar. You change of five? How much money do you and have? One. I got money. Two. How much? Enough. Um, can you loan me a dollar 23? Sure. Okay. Hey? What you got there? $18.77. How did you expect to get to California on $18.77? I'll get by. I have 20. You can have 50. No, I, I can't take that. Yes, you can. Come on. No, I... You can pay me back after Christmas. Take it. I won't forget this. Yeah, you will. But I'll remind you. Last call for bus number 33, leaving for St. Louis, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Albuquerque, Tucson, and Los Angeles. Here's your bus, you better hurry. Mm -hmm. You sure you're gonna be okay? Don't you worry about me. You, you go have a good trip. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Bye.
chance against the sea monster. Anything good on? The bus just left. I know. How much you want it? I'm the kind of gal who likes to live on the edge. Okay, all right, we're gonna have to use a towel here. This could get very messy if you don't know what you're doing. All right, this is called shotgunning a beer. It's an ancient tribal custom. Originated in Southeast Asia, I believe. Okay, take the beer, right? Mm -hmm. Poke a hole in it, as I will do now. All right, mm -hmm. using any household appliance. I'm using a pen. Okay, make it, make it just big enough to fit your mouth over it. And then 86 the pen. And then in one swift, you got it, listen to me, it's very mm -hmm. important. In one swift, deft motion, you're gonna take it, pull it up, and then release the cork, not the cork, this thing, and all the beer will slide down right to your throat in like two seconds, it'll be great. Now wait, you sure you're ready? You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, for all you kids watching, it's very dangerous. Let's not try this at home, all right? Okay. Okay. You, sh you ready? Yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, it's good for you, it's good. Mom, forgive me. Swallow, 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 oh, 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 danger, Will Robinson. <coughs> danger, oh, <God. laughs> Definite shotgun potential. But it wasn't like Oh, that. for a beginner, it's amazing what you just did. <laughs> really nice, really nice. Really? Really nice. <laughs> I just remember, I gotta check something. Now listen, uh, tonight I'll sleep on the floor. No, I don't want any arguments from you. I mean, it's only fair. I mean, last night, I slept on the bed and... Jason, I don't think so. It's gonna take me a bit longer than I anticipated. Well, today's the 19th. Better not expect me till the 22nd or 23rd at the earliest. No, everything's fine. Really. I'll call you tomorrow. I promise. I miss you, Jason. I've got this great big bed and no one to share it with. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm going for a walk. It's almost midnight. It's too stuffy in here. Yeah, I'm here. Come on, Giblet. One more time. One more time. I can't. Tomorrow, I promise. It was so good. It was so masterful. Relentless. But with a delicate touch. Confident. Creative. I was overwhelmed. You're a true artist. Just let me sleep a while. Regain my strength. Five minutes. A grace period, if you will. Please. Oh, what the heck. Howdy. Huh? Howdy. Mind if I sit here? Sure, buddy. Go ahead. Thank you. Come. Come. Two beers. And another double bourbon. I got one of them sweet steak flyers in the mail today, and I can't figure 
if it's worth the effort to send it in, you think I should bother? Yeah, probably not. She says she's from Paris. <laughs> I don't believe that. Paris women don't give you a hard time like they do here. To a Paris woman, sex is an art. I was in Paris once with my wife. Oh, am I glad she's dead. One tequila eggnog. I had fried food again for lunch today. I know, I know, I shouldn't have had it, but I couldn't help myself. You think I lack self-discipline? What's wrong with me? I'm a good-looking guy. You are. You are a good-looking guy. And I'm a good-looking guy. You are? I am. We're all three good-looking guys. That's right. We are. And it's Christmas time, and I'm gonna buy you a drink. What are you drinking? Uh, something light. With like a nice Chablis? Uh, spritzer. A spritzer. spritzer. Barkeep, give this man a trough of spritzer. <laughs> and you, cowboy guy, what do you want to drink? I'll have a beer. Get cowboy guy a beer. It's on me tonight. Drinks are on me. They're on me. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack, Jack Frost snipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows that turkey and some mistletoe. Where have you been? This guy, Jason, may be a real brain and all, but can he do this? Don't worry, Mom. I'll take the garbage out in the morning. I promise. Don't worry. Chestnuts roasting on the fire. Allison, come on, let's go. Hey. All right. Do you have everything? Yes, I have everything. You have everything. Sure. We all have everything. Everything's fine. Let's go. You can't rush me. Under, under the, she's checking under the thing. Uh, what is under there? I don't know. She's, a bathroom, again with the bathroom. You can't yeah. rush me. We gotta travel by day, so let's go. Oh, look at the time. We gotta go. Yeah. Here. Just oh, yeah, everything. everything. We got everything here. I'm... We're out of here. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Starving. How's it feel? Needs more bulk. We can't eat for 200 miles. What you telling me, woman? I worked out a schedule. Another schedule. Great. I computed exactly how much money we have and how long it's going to take for us to get there and how many meals we have to have. And it came out to one meal every 200 miles. After 700, though, we can have a snack. Oh, good. Cheetos and Albuquerque. I can hardly wait. What do you think? Nine months? 
More like 15. Oh, oh, excellent. Very pregnant. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you going to name it? What? The baby. Oh, baby. Well, if it's a girl, Cynthia. And if it's a boy, Elliot. Those are lovely names. Elliot? You can name the kid Elliot? I can't name the kid Elliot. No. Elliot is a fat kid with glasses who eats paste. I'm not gonna name the kid Elliot. I gotta give him a real name. Give him a name. Like Nick. Nick? Yeah, Nick. Nick's a real name. Nick's your buddy. Nick's the kind of guy you can trust. The kind of guy you can drink beer with. The kind of guy who doesn't mind if you puke in his car. Nick. God. Oh, vomit. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, oh. I'm gonna have a huge orange juice, three eggs, two sides of bacon, home fries, four pieces of toast, and then lunch. Wait, are you sure we can eat? I don't know if you've gone the full 200 miles. I don't want to throw your schedule off or anything. Leave me alone. I'm a pregnant woman. How could you lose your money? Oh, I put it in my schedule book. How could you lose your schedule book? That's the most important thing in your life, that stupid little book. You wouldn't even remember your name without it. Oh, this is just excellent. I'm starving. Thank you. I'm freezing to death. My feet are killing me. just swallowed my gum. Your incessant complaining isn't doing us any good. Can't you try and look on the bright side? Should have an airtight security system in the middle of nowhere! Wait, I have a mail card. I have a credit card. Credit cards work in a completely different kind of lock. I don't think you understand. I have a credit card. You have a credit card? I have a credit card. You have a credit card. Oh, my dad told me specifically I can only use it in case of an emergency. Well, maybe one will come up. Too bad this is the only place that takes credit cards. Mm, real shame. Oh, yeah. Here, try some of my veal. Mm. Only if you try some of the salmon. Well, um, I'm not a big fish guy, so... You oh. take... I'm not gonna eat that, but here, well, you, know, you try... You no, try it. It's go good. ahead, eat that. It's good. I'm not try gonna... It. I don't want... I, Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so you were saying? Well, yeah, anyway, my father, he grew up on a farm. 
So he always thought it was a real shame that we only saw the suburbs. And he used to take us on these really great camping trips. Want more wine? Mm. So one night I was sleeping in my pup tent with my younger brother. Oh, I must have been, what, six or seven? And I woke up in the middle of the night. And I had to get outside. I don't know why. I mean, I just really wanted to go outside. It was dark. I mean, totally dark. I mean, not the kind of dark it gets in the city or even in the suburbs, but I'm talking absolute blackness. I mean, you couldn't see two inches in front of your face. But there's one thing you could see. Well, millions of things, really. You could see the stars. There were more stars out that night than I've ever seen since. Believe me, I've looked. I'm, and I'm standing there, and I'm looking up at the sky, and I'm thinking that each one of these dots of light is another world. I didn't know the difference between the stars and the planets then. But it made me feel really small, lonely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then I thought, maybe on each one of these other worlds, there's a little kid just like me, only he's in the shape of a sponge or a pinball machine or something, but whatever, but he's up there. Maybe he's on a camping trip, and he's looking up at the stars. I decided I want to meet this guy. A rose for the lady? Would the lady care for a rose? Would the lady care to advance the gentleman the cost of the rose? <clears throat> Put it on the bill. It'd be great. For you. Thank you. That was nothing. You don't have to sleep on the floor. What? You don't have to sleep on the floor. Are you sure? I won't try anything, I swear. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. How's your lawyer? My lawyer? Yeah, what's his name? Jimmy, Jeremy. Jason. Jason. How is Jason, anyway? Jason's fine. I guess you really miss him. Well, I haven't seen him since last summer. What's he like, Jason? Jason is very directed. He's a real achiever. Right, I know, but what is he like? I mean, what kind of beer does he drink? I mean, is he funny? Does he make you laugh? Jason is everything a girl looks for in a guy. He sounds perfect. We both want the same things out of life, you know. We're both gonna be lawyers. Damn good ones. We might even open up a practice together. Up in Vermont. Somewhere in the country. I get it. Jason is, is the real outdoorsy type, huh? Clear, freshwater streams, fragrant meadows, biodegradable toilet paper, no. the whole works. It's just that we both like old farmhouses. 
thought it'd be nice to find one and restore it ourselves. Jason thinks it would make a good investment. I just want it to be nice and warm and cozy. Kind of like this. And we're both crazy about basset hounds. I guess that sounds kind of tame to you, huh? No. It sounds nice. Good night, Allison. Good night, Gib. I didn't try anything, I swear. I know. You were on my side of the bed. <laughs> it's all right. Nothing happened. I know. I'm, I'm just going to go out on the veranda thing for a while. What's in California? A girl. What's wrong with her? She's got a boyfriend. Too bad. Yeah. So what you like? Who? Your girlfriend. I don't know. I never met her. You never met her? Uh-uh. Wait a minute, you're going across the country to see a girl you never met. Yeah, we'll see. 
my best friend Lance set it up. It's supposed to be a sure thing. A sure thing? Yeah. A sure thing? A sure thing, no questions asked, no no strings attached. No guilt involved. A sure, sure thing. thing. Yeah. My whole life I never had a sure thing. Probably never meet her anyway. I mean, she's gonna be gone in 24 hours. Look, kid, you pay for the traffic tickets, I'll get you in the saddle. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa! appreciate the magnitude of your impending good fortune. Oh, I do. Bye. Allison, where are you going? Allison? Hey, Allison, wait up. Allison? Hey, what is it with you? You haven't said two words to me since Arizona. See you around. That's it? See you around? Isn't that what you want? No questions asked, no strings attached, no guilt involved? Have fun with your short thing. I bought this for you! I bought it! It's a thought that counts. Well, here we are. Oh, here, let me take that from you. It's really great to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I cleared out this drawer for you. And, uh, you can use this half of the closet bought some of those hangers you like so much. And, uh, well, we'll just put your bags up there after you've unpacked, get them out of the way. It's so good to see you. Oh, look. Flannel sheets. You know, the longer you use them, the softer they get. You know, by the time we find our farmhouse, my goodness, they'll be incredible, won't they? Allison, are you all right? Yes, yes, great. <laughs> I guess I'm just exhausted from each other. Yeah. Yeah. Those sheets are great. <laughs> I know what you need. A good hot mug of tea restores both body and spirit. Now let's see what we have this week. Let's see, we've got some Darjeeling. Mm. English breakfast. Now it's really more of a studying tea, isn't it? Yes. Let's see, Lapsang Sushong for those rainy mornings. <laughs> Earl Grey. Remember that camping trip to Vermont? Ah, of course. China Black. How about it, Allison? How about a good hot mug of China Black? Do you have any beer? Walt, 
Arthur Gibson. Arthur Gibson, he's coming! loud and crowded and the only reason anyone goes to them is to pick someone up now why would we want to do that let's go to disneyland disneyland is for children well let's do something pointless something totally crazy all right i tell you what what i'll spot you 50 points now that'll add some excitement to the game Nancy, I really don't want to wear this stuff. I really don't. Hey, what do you mean? You look fantastic. You look... Come on, come with me. Now, what's the first thing you're going to do when you meet her, huh? Shave my head and join a Polynesian monastery. What do you mean? What? Tito. Isn't that nice? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like that. What's going on? I look on? like a moron, Lance. Oh, what do you mean you look like a moron? Look at me. Oh, wait, you don't like green? Is that it? You don't like green? I don't, want, I don't like the green one. You want I don't want the red? red one? I don't want anyone. Oh, come on. Because no, I don't. What do you mean, because no, you don't? What is it? What is that? You know what? You happen to be developing a very bad attitude, young man. Oh, don't move. Because she's here. It's her, man. Look. Tonight is the first night of the rest of your sex life, Walter Gibson. You're gonna kill me, Lance, but I don't think I can go through with this. Oh, I knew it. The breasts are too small? The breasts are too small. Hi. Hi. How are you? This is uh, a drink for you. Is that him? Yeah. He's cute. Yeah, well, he's kind of going through a little, uh, a little uh, climate adjustment. And so uh, we're going to be with him in just a minute, OK? So why don't you just uh, go over there and look for something, OK? All right. Great. I love you, babe. Mm, you look good. Hey, hey. What's the problem? What's wrong with you? I don't know, Lance. I mean, I'm almost 19. I mean, maybe I'm getting too old for this. Gib, what do you want? A goddamn relationship? I don't know what I want. Maybe it's a moral issue. Moral issue? This is Lance you're talking to, man. You have no morals. Hey, look, you're just in a slump, that's all. It happens to the best of us. It could happen to me someday. I doubt it, but it could. You nervous? Get out. Get you're, out. You're nervous because you, you haven't done it in a get while. Get out. It's like riding a bike, you know? You just got to climb on and keep pedaling. And wear something white at night. Gib, you want a relationship? That's fine. Just remember that every relationship starts with a one-night stand. You came 3,000 miles for a reason, didn't you? Would you look at that reason? Go for it, Gib. You've earned it. Lance, you're right. That's right. I'm not being unfaithful to anyone. No, 
Well, I could use a torrid night of cheap, meaningless lust. That's right, buddy. There you go. Look at these people. They probably think they're having a good time. Challenge. You thought I was gay! It's a bigger challenge. Keep your shirt on, buddy. You're doing great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a sweet young thing whose sarong needs adjusting. Miss! Get out of my life! I'd like to get some punch. Oh, please. Allow me. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Mm, she's got lovely skin. So much of it. She happens to be an excellent judge of quality shirtwear. Oh, well, she should try wearing one sometime. <laughs> like a cup for Justin? Jason. Whatever, he probably eats paste. Justin is twice the man that you will ever be. Jason. He's loyal, he's trustworthy, he... Allison, do you know this person? No, not really. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. Okay. Jason, let's go to bed. Careful, Jason. She hogs all the blankets. Will you snore? Not tonight, I won't. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. How would you like to go up to Lance's room for a drink? All right. Let's go. Good night. You don't even know that girl! How do you know that guy? He's all set up by his friend. He thinks love is something you order on the phone like a pizza. He snores. And he thinks he knows everything about the stars, but he doesn't even know that Cassia P is a mother in drama. How does he know you hog the blankets? You should see the crap he eats. Cheese balls and beer for breakfast? How do you know what he eats for breakfast? Want to sit down? Do you want me to? Yeah, why don't you sit down? All right. All right. Do you want a drink? Sure. Sure. Great. Great. Wrong. 
long. Yeah. Well, that sure does drink a lot of beer. Yeah. A lot of it's imported. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why, don't I look fine? I don't know. It just seems like... Well, I'm not. Is it that girl at the punch bowl? No. No, it's nothing. Particularly not that girl at the punch bowl. Tom! Why didn't you tell me about him? Because he's not worth mentioning. He's a creep. You made love to him, didn't you? Did you make love to him? No. Honest? Honest. Do you love him? Yeah, I know, but the cure didn't work last no, I have to go to the library. I'm really behind. That's what I should have done. I didn't study it all this week. Me neither. Source. Walter Gibson. It is called the sure thing. It could be tonight, he thought, as he stood in the corner pretending to have a good time. He would meet her tonight. All his young life he had dreamed of a girl like this. Five foot six, you know, long silky hair, trim new bile body. <laughs> New bile, by the way, spelled with a U. <laughs> new bile body that really knew how to move and soft, deeply tanned skin. Now, as for personality traits, she needed only one. She had to love sex and all the time. Yeah. <laughs> to arrive at this moment, he had traveled vast distances, enduring many hardships, abject poverty, starvation, Show tunes, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> From across the room, he saw her. She was perfect. He knew almost nothing about her, and she didn't know much more about him. It was exactly how it was supposed to be. He brought her to his room. The lights were soft. The moment was right. And she leaned over and whispered in his ear, do you love me? Thoughts raced through his mind. Did she really want him? What had he done to deserve this bounty? Does God exist? Who invented liquid soap and why? Do you love me? Now, staring into her eyes, he knew that she really needed to hear it. But for the first time in his life, he knew these were no longer just words. And if he said it, he would be a lie. Do you love me? She whispered. Do you love me? It would not be tonight. The answer was no. He was a traitor! Sleep with her? Still seeing Jason? 
broke up. It's too bad. You didn't sleep with her. She wasn't my type. 